Hello, I am really sorry due to technical problem my previous video class stopped its function and I could not give you uh, some more examples of finite verb I had wanted to give you. Okay, now I am trying to show you some more examples of finite verb. Yeah, look at the whiteboard. Number one, all these are conditional sentences. And conditional sentences are of course complex sentences and these conditional sentences um, have two clauses. One is subordinate clause and another is main clause. And here you have to remember if the subordinate clause, this is subordinate adverbial clause, uh, it has started with if, if you work hard, comma, you succeed in life. If the subordinate clause is in present tense, is in present tense, the sentence, conditional sentences, in conditional sentences, if the subordinate clause is in present tense, then the other clause will be future indefinite tense. That means uh, we should write uh, shall or will after the subject. And uh, here we can always write will. Uh, correct answer is you will succeed in life because we have to transform this present form into future indefinite tense. Into future indefinite tense. And in a future indefinite tense, we must write shall or will after the subject as an auxiliary verb. And then the base form of that main verb. So the correct answer is will succeed. Number two, this sentence is called first conditional. And example number two, this sentence is a second conditional sentence. Um, if you work hard, here the subordinate clause is in past indefinite form, past indefinite tense. Work. If the subordinate clause is past indefinite tense, then the main clause will be future in the past. Future in the past is a term. However, uh, we can easily remember it if the subordinate clause in the past indefinite tense, then we must write would after the subject. Uh, we can write could, may, might according to the meaning of the sentence. So the correct answer is would succeed. Would succeed. Why? I am again saying. If the subordinate clause is in the past indefinite tense, then we must write would, could or might after the subject on the basis of the meaning of the sentence and the base form of the verb. This is the second conditional, the third conditional. Third conditional sentence we can write in two ways. Number one, if you had worked hard, this subordinate clause is in past perfect tense is in past perfect form had worked had here is an auxiliary verb and what is the main verb so the clause is in past perfect tense and if the subordinate clause is in past perfect tense then we must write would have could have or might have after the subject on the basis of the meaning of the sentence I am repeating, after subject, we may write would have, could have or might have on the basis of the meaning of the sub, of the sentence. And then the past participle form of the main verb, we know after have, has, had, that means after the, after have verb, we must write the past participle form of the main verb. So here the current form is succeeded, would have succeeded. And this sentence we can write in another way, like this. Here I have not used if. Here I have written had. Here had has two functions. That is, one is if and another is had. Here had has two functions. One is if and another is had. That means this had, this had is if and had together. 
So the meaning of this clause and the meaning of this clause is same. Had you worked hard or if you had worked hard according to the meaning is same. Then the answer will be same. Answer is same like this. You would have succeeded. You would have succeeded. So uh, we can say if we write had before the subject, then this had will give us two functions. If and had. And answer will be same. These all these are conditional sentences. First conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. And we have another conditional sentence that is zero conditional. Here, uh, the four number example is an example of zero conditional. Zero conditional. If it rains, the land of Paddy get wet. If it rains, the land of Paddy get wet. The land of Paddy is always wet in the rain. So we cannot make this clause into future indefinite tense. It is a universal true. If it rains, the land of Paddy gets wet. So, the sentence like this, uh, the main clause will be in the present indefinite form. In the present indefinite form. Here, the subordinate clause is in present indefinite tense and the main clause is also in the present indefinite tense. Actually, we should write this sentence on the meaning of the sentence.